Hi there, it's Mary here, and this is just a quick video telling you, yes, I'm working on getting back on track. Um, I do have planned out a Random Facts Friday that I hope to get done for this week. It's all about fall and different facts about fall season since we just had these, the autumnal equinox. Uh, I also have a couple books that I'm probably going to do reviews on soon, but kind of just checking in and letting you guys know I am working on getting myself back on track, but hopefully it'll get there soon. I do have some stuff going on this week. My parents are going to come and visit me, which is kind of cool. They usually stay for just a few days, which is perfect. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but as we all know as adults, when you grow up, you love your parents, but sometimes there are reasons where like, they for sometimes they forget a little bit that you are an adult now and have your own life, and, and sometimes you just don't always, you haven't grown in a way where you work well together in long periods of time like you did when you still lived with them. Um, but yeah, sometimes my mom especially forgets that I'm independent for the most part. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm almost done with a book that came out in September, so I'm, uh, I'm just assuming it's already out because this is the last week of September, um, called Caroline. I'm really enjoying that. And I finished another book recently called Strange Weather by Joe Hill. I'm partial to Joe Hill's work anyway, so even though I actually bought that advanced reading copy, it, the joys of working at a bookstore. Sometimes the bookstore is the one who gets the advanced reading copy, and I will buy that if it's something I'm really looking forward to. And a Joe Hill book, that's definitely something I'm always excited to find. Um, so I may or may not, I think I'm going to do a book re review on that one. Uh, Caroline I hope to, but I also hope to be done with reading it before my parents come to visit because I do plan on passing it on to my mother to read because I think she'll really enjoy it, and then hopefully my sister one of my two sisters will enjoy it too. Um, it's a retelling of Little House on the Prairie from the point of view of the mother, thus Caroline. That was her name if you don't remember, um, or if you're too young to remember the TV show or books. So I think my sister who, even though she mostly reads non-fiction, primarily science from the sounds of it, uh, I think she'll enjoy it because she was obsessed with Little House on the Prairie when we were younger. Uh, so hopefully some book reviews coming up. Hopefully the editing will go smoothly. There are some changes with the editing program I was using. Um, hopefully I'll get a new one soon to work that out. And I wanted to get a new editing system at some point anyway because I wanted better videos. Uh, still working on getting my, my groove with my shows and hopefully you guys are still viewing and enjoying. Just wanted to check in, let you know, yes, I have a random facts coming. I need to come up with some more random facts and start researching those so I can get those ready. Um, so far, I don't script, as you know. Uh, I know a lot of YouTubers do seem to write scripts out for themselves. I don't know if I'll ever grow into that or not. I don't know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. If you would, feel free to comment below to let me know. I would love to have conversations with anybody who views my videos. I do read... The few, the few comments I've gotten so far, I do definitely read them. I respond if it seems like something that should be responded to. Um, I, I do want to have interaction. It, it's part of the, the fun of having a YouTube channel. I have some ideas for something that's not a typical video, but it's still going to take some work to get that together. And I don't know if I'm ready to reveal what that is to you. So, it'll have to wait on that one. But. I hope you are all having a great day, and please stay tuned for more to come, including a random fact about autumn, yay. Even though it doesn't, I don't know about where you are, it does not feel like fall outside lately. It's been in the 90s this week, which I love. I love hot and humid weather. Um, as long as my apartment can stay cool for my cat, because that's something where it's important to me. I love hot and humid weather. I like when I'm outside in the hot and humid weather, but with my fair skin I have to stay in the shade. But I, I have an excuse for hating the cold too. Uh, wasn't always this way, but I've grown, as I've grown up, 
Uh, in the past several years, I actually became allergic to the cold, where if it gets below a certain degree, I do get highs. But I know why it's important to have cold weather and snow and all these things. So I do worry about the long-term effects of the environment, even though short-term, it's great for me personally, but what are, what's going to happen to the world if it doesn't, if it's changing this much? I know there are those out there who don't believe in climate change. I believe in climate change. I believe there's something going on. There's something changing in the world. Uh, the storms themselves, which I'm hoping everybody is staying safe and managing to get back together again. Um, the things I've been seeing coming in about Puerto Rico being in horrible conditions right now. No electricity. Just, it, it's kind of frightening and very important. More important than some of the other things that have been really, really bulking up and just taking over social media and the news and what our leader of our nation has decided to to uh, concentrate on. I think it's important that we look at the bigger picture. Uh, look at the why somebody's choosing to do what they're doing. Don't just look at it as, as the short term and the facade of it all. Don't look at the shallowness of it. Look deeper. Ask yourself, why is this person behaving the way they are? Why are they choosing this action? And maybe then you'll get some insight if you think a little deeper than just the surface. Uh, honestly, I kind of wonder if that's part of the problem with our, our president right now. Um, maybe he's not looking deep enough at why or not listening as to why people are choosing to take the actions they are. And they really are trying to speak out in their own way, in a non-violent way, about injustices that are happening. Uh, right now, I think we should really be concentrating on those who are trying to pull their back, lives back together after extreme weather and other, and the fires and just so much going on, earthquakes. There's so much that we should be more concerned about people than an object and paying respect to it. Uh, obviously, I'm hinting around at the whole flag situation, um, the national anthem, and football players choosing to take a knee or not to, and it's it's their choice. We live in a free country. Period. We should not be forced to do anything that is against our will, that is not hurting someone else physically. You may not like that someone's not standing for the Star Spangled Banner. You may not like that they're not putting their hand over their heart. I've seen many times when even our president is not putting his hand over his heart. So I find him hypocritical with him calling out the football players who are not leaders of the nation, who are there to entertain us, deciding to make a statement by saying, I feel there is inequality and this is my way of bringing attention to the inequality and trying to bring about change in a way that's not going to hurt someone else. I like the idea of speaking out against what you think is an injustice but not hurting someone else. Uh, as you know, I always finish my videos with please be kind to each other because I really want people to be kind to each other. I want people to respect each other as much as they can. Put yourself in someone else's shoes once in a while. Don't be judgmental. It's not your place to judge them. As long as no one is being hurt physically or mentally for bullying, um, psychologically, things like that. As long as you're not hurting someone. And they, I don't understand why it's a, a problem. Um, I know I keep saying physically, but there are there is emotional and psychological abuses as well, and those scars do run even deeper because they're they're harder to see. Uh, it's it's hard to heal from any kind of abuse or or pain that people have caused. But you know, we gotta be human to each other. We are a human race. We are all one. You cut another person. They're gonna bleed. Shakespeare 
even has that in a monologue about if you prick us, do we not bleed? Yes. So I want everybody to be kind to each other. I truly do. I want you to think before you speak poorly to someone. Yes, it's okay to speak your thoughts and your opinions, but do it in a respectful manner. Do it in a way that is educated. Have things to back up your facts and where you can find it in sources. Be ready to discuss, not yell. When people yell, whether you realize it or not, whether you're the one yelling or someone's yelling at you, there's a close off in the communication. Typically when somebody is yelling, the person who's supposed to be listening shuts down. They start to shield themselves. Especially me, I, I hate the sound of people yelling. Um, I'm not talking about football game or something like that. Not that I would ever go to a football game. But um, I'm not talking about celebratory yelling, which even then I'm not that big on that. I'm much quieter than people realize. <laughs> but I mean yelling at someone in anger. I hate that sound. I've always hated that sound. So I just really am hoping that somehow we make this world better and look at the real matters of importance. Don't let them keep drawing your attention over here because they're doing something else over here. That is part of the problem. There's a lot of sleight of hand, so to speak. It seems like there's a lot of spin doctoring of words, doing the sleight of hand where they're like, look over here so you don't see what I'm doing over here, taking attention from the important stuff and putting it on something that's seemingly less important um, or less important aspect of what the message is. This has gotten kind of rambly. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But anyway, I am going to work on getting back on track. Hopefully I will have that video up this week on by Friday. Maybe I'll even put it up early this week. I don't know. And I hope you have a great day. Have a great week. Please be kind to each other.